Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. This is Intuitive Tarot with me, Mama Core. Today I'm going to be reading for Virgo. It's now Virgo season. Happy birthday Virgo. This is your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs or if you're interested in madly in love with or you just want to know how your Virgo ex is doing then all cross watchers are welcome. All I ask is you don't wish any negativity upon anybody please only positivity because karma is a b and it will end up going back on the my loves okay so it is virgo season and i really do feel like it's all about reconnecting with self loving yourself finding what you really desire within life i do feel it's about being more connected and reclaiming our power within i feel like we we tend to because i'm a i'm a fellow earth sign myself virgo and I feel like we tend to give our power away, we give little parts of our power away to make other people feel safe and connected and loved. And sometimes we forget to give that back to ourselves. So it's about reclaiming, redirecting that power and giving it back to ourselves, to nurture ourselves, to make ourselves feel more complete, more safe, more stable, going in and healing those shadow places i have been doing that for the last couple of weeks going back to my childhood home um confronting situations that i haven't been able to confront most of my life um and putting them to bed um coming face to face with demons that you need to to come face to face with no longer shoving things underneath the carpet revealing what's underneath that carpet dealing with every single situation and clearing all that toxic energy out of the way what do we want to do we want to clear that toxic energy out of the way no thank you and what i'm going to do for you which the light's gone out let me do this one that candle's gone out i'm gonna quickly light my sage view. I've got sage and palisandro in there, but they just wanted me to I hope you can hear that. and doing um, AMSR, I think is that what you call it. So I'm literally sending you healing, sending you protection, sending you love, stability, wealth, and tranquility. You are safe, you are loved, you are abundant. Okay, my loves, you've got this. Everything is coming in everything you've truly desired is manifesting in right now right my loves let's get started for my wonderful virgos please for my wonderful virgos 2022 September reading for Virgo. Virgo season. A lot of movement. A lot of growth. Virgo season is where we're all going to see our lives transforming. Everything that we've been manifesting. Everything we've been desiring to see into our reality we're not going to go from dreaming of these things anymore we're going to see them manifest into our reality oh, yes 
love. A new relationship. Yes, you're guarded. That's okay. There you are. The Queen of Cups. Of course I'm dealing with a queen. I wouldn't expect anything less from my beautiful Virgos. Yes, blue is, that looked like two cards and it's one. And you're either, you're either about to go into a long-term commitment, higher level of commitment, a new relationship that's going to majorly level up right now. Or this connection is literally coming into your life or you're leveling up the connection that you're already in. That's what I'm seeing. You've had a lot of sleepless nights over this connection. But this person, oof, what is that? Oh yeah, they have chose you and you have chose them. This person was really up in their ego. Being overwhelmed by their ego. I'm not good enough. Do you want it? No. It's a time for death and rebirth. Could be dealing with it, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. Yeah. What I'm seeing is a transformation, a transformation of a relationship. Let me, they've just asked me to get these cards, so I will. Walking away from one life because of all the toxic shit that was in it. No longer dealing with it. I can't deal with it. I'm not putting up with it. I'm holding myself in high regard. It's not what I desire. It's not going where I want it to go. I can't make you do something that you don't want to do. And I'm not waiting around until you're ready. No. You walked away from it. Oh, landed on the tower. I dream about a future with you. I told you. Death and rebirth. Transforming this connection. Landed on the tower. This, put, this tower moment in this person's life has made them feel so freaking uncomfortable has literally shown this person look how much you've been in your ego look how much of a dick you've been towards virgo did virgo deserve the treatment that you gave them virgo has been doing it all on her own or him all on his own do they deserve it and they're like no no they didn't This person's been going through major karmic cycles. Like this tower is burning down. This building is falling down. Everything around this person has come down to shit. They've lost their job. They've lost their home. They've, they've lost everything around them. Everything that they once were flourishing in, because they kept in these toxic karmic cycles, because they didn't move out of them, because they didn't grow up, because they didn't level up in their lives, because they were staying in manipulative, toxic situations, so smoking too much, drinking too much, partying too much, um, gambling, um, sleeping around, sex addictions. Yeah, the universe is like, hey, hello, we told you to level up. We told you that we were going to bring all this abundance into your life as soon as you grew up. Right. Well, you ain't listening. You're still pissing about. So it's time we bring this tower down in your ass to wake you the feck up. Wake up. And this person, all of a sudden, just had the biggest slap in their face. Like I'm seeing somebody just like leap up out of bed, be like... <gasps> like somebody sleeping in. Somebody got too drunk one night and slept in and like missed work. I'm getting somebody being like, 
oh my god, oh my god, and then, then phone and work and be like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm like, I've slept in, and it's just like I haven't been feeling too well and making excuses. But they know there's either pictures or evidence of you partying all night. Or your love interest. This isn't you, Virgo, this is your love interest. Yeah. A little of something isn't too bad. Like this person I'm seeing works really, really hard, but they've just taken it a step too far. That's what I'm seeing. I'm scared to open my heart to, to love again. I'm scared to open my heart to love again, it says. I have so much guilt for the way I treated you. What did I say? What did I say? Life has been hard and we paid the price. I'm sorry. Neither of us deserved this. This tower has really, really hit this person. They're all up in their emotions now. I can't stop thinking about you. You're all I ever think about. Please be patient. I don't trust myself right now. I'm feeling the consequences for my actions. Let's put that right by the tower. Germany cricket. Wow. I'm facing my shadows and I want to change. I'm transforming my whole life for you. Don't think just because I've not been speaking to you because they've gone into this quiet mode. Don't think that this person doesn't love you because they do. Because this whole time, this person's not been speaking to you. The whole time they're thinking of this higher level of commitment. Fantasizing about starting this, this beautiful, beautiful connection with you. This person's got loads of your pictures saved on their phone. Like I'm seeing screenshot after screenshot after screenshot going back over your messages. There's certain pictures of, and it could be just you taking a selfie of yourself being silly, putting it up on, do you know what I mean? Facebook or something. But it's like a, their favorite picture of you. It's like the angle or something that you're in. They really, really like that. This person's going to come in so strong out of nowhere with communication. Like, I just feel like this person's going to come in and rush in and see that you're having attention off so many other people and be like, oh my God, I really love you and I've loved you for ages and just like spill their guts and you're just like, what? And they're like, oh, I should have said that. That was a bit too much. I'm sorry, but... I've been wanting to say this since they're going to say a certain date. I just heard, I've been feeling this since the 5th of May. But I heard 2000 and... But I didn't hear the end bit. I heard 2001... And then I heard 2007. That's what I heard. I've been feeling this since the 5th of May, 2001. There's a specific date that is really special to you both. And this person's going to start reciting memories and specific dates and be like, I remember when we went here and do you remember this? I still have... I, I, I heard, I still ha have that love heart teddy. And then I heard, I still have that book where we wrote all our letters. 
that's what I heard. <laughs> very sweet. Very, very, very sweet. That doesn't go there, that's why it's not going in there. It goes there. I put it in the wrong place. I put my faith in the wrong place. I should have put my faith in you. But I didn't have trust. And didn't think I was level. I didn't think I was capable of a connection like this. I didn't feel like I was worthy for a connection like this. I didn't feel worthy of you. I've always thought if I could settle down with anybody, if I could have children with anybody, it would be with you. This Queen of Hearts, the Queen of Hearts. You've got my heart, I was meant to say. I was meant to say, you've got my heart and the Queen of Coins, but it came out as the Queen of Hearts. <laughs> this person is totally lost in you. They're like so overloaded with love and with your intoxicating energy that this person when they come in it's just going to be an overload of this passionate communication they can't stop smiling i'm seeing somebody like say if this is like say if this is like somebody holding their phone like i'm seeing somebody be like <laughs> Just like randomly smiling at their phone and then everybody around them is seeing them smiling at their phone and like giggling to themselves. Like if you two text or if you do something funny or say something funny online or put a picture up of yourself online, this person's seeing it and they're just like... <laughs> And everybody's just like, what the hell? Like, you never have done that before. Why all of a sudden are you looking at your phone and laughing at yourself? Like, you know when you first start messaging somebody and you're in that, like, really, like, lovey dovey dovey period, everything's new, and, like, they start messaging you and they start being a bit cheeky and then you get those messages back on and you don't want anybody else to see and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> Like, texting away, like, I'm getting, like, that sort of energy, like, that giddy, excited, waiting for another update, waiting for another message. Like, a, there's, a, like, a lot of fast-paced communication coming here. You make me feel like a teenager again. It's like, ping, 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 ping. Like, there's a lot of messages back and forth. Running towards this new love. I'm running in towards you. I can't wait to see where this goes. I just heard I want to travel the world with you. You, you are my secret obsession. Every time you feel me, no, say that again, I didn't catch it. Every time you feel me, every time you sense me, yeah, that's me worshipping you. <laughs> that's me dreaming of you. All I do is fantasize about us being together, kissing you, hugging you, being in your arms. Like I can feel this person constantly on loop. Think about what it's like to kiss you. Think about what it's like to be in your arms. Think about what it's like to have you in their arms. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it's a constant loop. I can't stop thinking of you. All I do is think of you. I 
I dream about a future with you and only you. Don't be so guarded with this person. When this person does come in with this very, very truthful, open com communication, listen to what they've got to say. Okay? Be that beautiful, really grounded, nurturing, loving mum energy that you are because that's what this person loves about you. They love how loving and grounded you are. Just very nurturing, that's what I'm seeing. You're very just like, oh, it's okay, everything's all right, let's just talk this through. Do you know I mean? Like, I'm getting that sort of vibe from you. And this person's like, yeah, I want that, I'm on my steed, let's go. <laughs> They're up a lot at night. They're getting a lot of channeled messages from their spirit guides, from their loved ones that passed. I'm seeing an uncle in particular. The uncle, say that again. The uncle that always liked to have a drink. Okay, I'm seeing a guy, I say like he's in his fifties, I don't know. Um, walk up a road, but he's got like a like a crate of beer and he's just like wobbling, holding this crate of beer. Like that's how he was seen most of the time, that's what I'm seeing. But he was always really, really funny. He was always that funny, drunk most of the time uncle. That's going to resonate more with the cross watcher than it is with you, Virgo, I think. Because I'm picking it up that there's a masculine that had a an uncle who's very protective over him. That sends a lot of blessings his way. Because he's very proud of what this masculine's achieved. I just keep on hearing, oh, he's the only one in the family. They are the only one in the family. So maybe you went off to uni or something like that and getting that sort of feeling. They're the only one in the family. You won't believe what he or she has done. So proud. They've worked hard. They've worked hard. This this guy was like a beer or a cider drinker. Like I'm feeling it so strong. Like this person would like to sit in the garden in the sunshine, getting burnt to a crisp and drinking a cider or a beer. Like that's the image that I'm getting. Lived out the back. Lived out. Lived out the back. Lived out the back. I don't know what that means. I just heard they lived out the back. Any more? No, they're just telling me they lived out the back of their house. Lived out the back of their house. That's what I'm getting. Sorry, guys. Sometimes there's specific messages for specific people. Obviously, um, I have quite a lot of subscribers and some people aren't even subscribed to my channel but they just watch my videos then if you watch it I am going to take in your energy because my spirit guides your family members are going to see that you're watching my channel and they're going to come and try and get a message to me so I can give it to you <laughs> so yeah that might even, might even not even for a Virgo but that literally cross watcher <laughs> yeah and now they're pulling their energy back. Okay, let me get the last. Nope, they're not even one in. No chakra card. Nope, chakra card. Right. Sorry, guys. That was all your messages. Wow. I just heard no. <laughs> no. 
that is all your message i hope it's brought you clarity in your situation remember you are loved you are safe you are protected you are worthy of greatness love yourself and give yourself that power back unless somebody has given it to you then don't give it to them my loves okay may love and light guide you on your amazing spiritual journey i'll see you next time my loves bye bye bye, -bye.